family was expelled to... from the and she died heartbroken when her last child died. Nothing left to live for. Hugh Brown discovers a tragic past. Who do you think you are? Wednesday at 9 on BBC One and BBC One HD. Who you found? You are accusing the Prime Minister of Eden. Staying right back to work this morning. Why am I being followed? He didn't get a phone call, he wasn't out of the phone call. Watch the series so far. Now on BBC iPlayer. It's all working out. BBC iPlayer. Your very own BBC. Now we only found four now. Travelling to Ascot on Saturday rising and then waiting for Windsor. Horse rising on Sunday. They didn't win but they didn't lose anything. They come in. Lovely time with James. <laughs> <laughs> he was fine. He settled in no problem. Now on a change to our morning schedule on BBC One, Clive Myrie presents the BBC News Special. This is BBC News with a special programme on the riots which have spread across London and to other major cities in England. The capital saw one of its worst nights in decades as gangs of masked youths started fires, attacked police and looted shops. Police say at least 400 people have been arrested across London over the past three days. This is the scene live over the skies of London where a major cleanup operation is now underway. The Prime Minister has cut short his holiday to chair a meeting of the COBRA Emergency Committee. British policing has always meant and always uh, depended on the support and help of local communities and that's what we need now. We'll have a live statement from the Prime Minister shortly on how the government plans to restore order to the streets. For the first time the trouble has spread beyond the capital to other major English cities with a hundred arrests in Birmingham alone. Shop owners are counting the cost as they become the target of looters with many stores entirely stripped of their contents. And even football has been affected that tomorrow's friendly between England and the Netherlands has been called off.